Tick. Hey, honeys. So, um, we all know we have our very own blogs, but I decided when I talk to you guys, I feel that it's much more personal. And so, I'll be having a series of topics talking about things, things that I, all, uh, that I myself also have to deal with. So, today I'm talking about loving yourself. Now, I know a lot of you, even myself, I had to struggle with loving myself um, because you try and think of you try to compare yourself with other people you think you're not good enough you think you're not pretty enough you think or you feel that you're not skinny enough not smart enough and that you don't come from a very wealthy background but I want you to realize that doesn't define who you are I know um, growing up I also felt that I wasn't pretty enough I had friends who always had to comment and, and, and back chat and always had things to say about me but if you feel that way, if you feel that even your, your parents don't do enough for you, they don't appreciate you enough, I want you to know that it doesn't define you. It doesn't say who you are. I want you to know today that God loves you no matter what and that he's, when certain things in your life happen, it doesn't mean he's mad at you, he's mad about you. And I think that's why some of us um, sometimes go through struggles, tribulation and trials. It's only there to make you a better person. Um, I'm here to let you know that I too sometimes have to struggle with loving myself, accepting who I am and embracing my past and reliving it to, make, to actually make me a better person. So today I want to challenge you to actually go out there, love yourself, love yourself enough to know that you are loved because I do love you. God loves you deeply. He loves you extravagantly and he loves you eternally. So I'm taking your hand in this series and it's time to heal.